Okay, today talking now would be about Constantine Mill talking about Boscovich's theory and the main place to be going to is a place called Big Bang, it's a big bluff, says Mill, and that's that link there. Uh, Wiki deals with Mill at that link, so we'll be going to that now. Um, so here we go Constantine Mill, born 1952, uh, is a German. Electronics and Energy Engineer. He is since professor uh, in 1986, professor of power electronics at the University of Fort Walker. Um, I think he's a bit of a maverick actually. So, so that's who he is. Got some maverick ideas, and it's built upon Tesla and things. So here we go to him. That one there. This is him. And if we go down and see what he says, he says. The Big Bang is alleged to be the starting point of our universe. This theory is based on the redshift based on the Doppler effect. All galaxies except our own, the Milky Way, are through our telescopes observed with a redshift, which make which made the majority of physicists conclude that all other galaxies are moving away from us and therefore the universe is expanding. The original force causing the universe to expand expand should be expand is claimed to be the Big Bang. Right. Professor Constantine Moore is convinced that the redshift of the other galaxies has other an, another cause which makes the Big Bang theory collapse. Moore points out that everybody agrees that all galaxies are slowly contracting to their centre called a black hole course of uh, black hole we've got a problem with what Crothers is saying but we pass on that that means in our galaxy all the stars come closer to each other because they join on their march to the black hole that implies that we should see that should be where we see our fixed stars in our universe with the blue shift because they come closer but the blue shift is not observed uh -huh. there you go the mistake Einstein and the modern quantum mechanics do is they ignore the source field, the ether. So we got the ether problem again. The field is controlling matter and therefore the meter, that's the unit of length, how long a meter is. Speed is a meter times second. Meter times second, you should really mean meters per second. Uh, Therefore, the field controls even the speed, including the speed of light. We don't see the blue shift at the fixed stars because they and we belong to the same field of our galaxy. We all shift place in the same proportion. That's also the reason why we measure the speed of light as a constant at, at approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. That measurement is only an illusion. We don't measure the speed of light but only our measurement device because uh, we look at it with our eyes using just light what, what we want to measure so he's trying to come overcome that problem and it's not really that clear so so Galileo was right when he claimed that an object with the speed of light coming towards us should be quicker than light because both speeds are added uh, so that's Newtonian physics that sort of adding so it's abandoning of the Way Einstein sort of like dealing with speed. The information from Einstein that there is nothing quicker than light is nonsense, confusing us so what we are not able to detect the source field giving us free energy and explaining how the universe and life is really functioning. So this confusion over the ether which Einstein's uh, caused us to become in uh, 
become involved in and also the confusion over the speed of light as all muddled up mainstream physics and uh, he's really Mill Constant, this person here has really noticed that but he's not really I don't think saying it very well there it's probably a translation problem but what I want to get on to is giving a little talk now about Boscovich's theory and from my point of view Boscovich's theory is the direction which mainstream physics should really be going into but because of the confusion that Einstein's created uh, it's uh, we, we've a lot of people have been diverted from Boscovich's theory. So let's pick up what he's got to say about Boscovich's theory. The target is getting so that we, we know that um, this uh, length contraction is real as well. So the, the originally expression whether it is only observable, uh, we, have, we had to, um, to change our mind more often. And Einstein himself even has to do this. So this theory of relativity cannot be the end of physics because it is the, the, uh, the person, the physicist who is observing is part of the system mm -hmm. and is observing with the speed of light. And this is why he says the speed of light is constant because he is observing with this, with this variable speed. And this is the problem. Mm -hmm. So. Um, if you want to know what physics, what is behind of physics, then you need an objective theory. Mm -hmm. But then we have the problem that it is not observable. Yes. Yeah. And we need a new transformation where, where the speed of light is not constant, but variable. And we have no chance to prove this. Mm -hmm. but, but you see that this theory um, originally was used by Boscovich. So he's talking about light speed being variable. I don't think he's really talking about it very well. He's talking about uh, objective theory and so forth. But when he gets on to Boscovich, that's the direction I go to. If you decide Einstein is wrong about what he's claiming, what Einstein's claiming about the ether, uh, the speed of light and so forth in 1905 with uh, uh, special relativity and you then decide well physics was had a unified theory before Einstein started messing around and the unified theory was of course Boscovich's theory so picking it up from Boscovich's theory not constant but variable and we have no chance to prove this mm -hmm. but but you see that this theory um, originally was used by Boscovich. Who was that? Boscovich has been a um, Jesuit uh, priest in, uh, from, from uh, Dubrovnik, um, from uh, former Yugoslavia, today it's um, um, Croatia, um, Dalmatian. And uh, he has been priest, then he went as a professor to Rome. And um, uh, he was uh, traveling along uh, a lot uh, because he was a representative of his country, which was a state by itself um, uh, in uh, in that time. And uh, like 1755, Venice, 1755, it was when he was writing his ideas about physics. And he is the founder of the field theory. So, so he's the founder of the field theory. And I deal with this in my videos. If I can, uh, if I can get to where they are. Getting too many of them now. Yeah. See, I've got other. I've got. There we go. 
other talks dealing with Boscovich's theory, like this one. And I've got a talk which I gave on Boscovich's theory, and basically that's the direction that physics should be going into. It's a continuation of Newtonian physics via Boscovich's theory. Oh yeah, okay. I've got one here. That's one of my talks on Boscovich's theory. I gave it and my talk on Boscovich's theory there, one of them short one I gave. Um, if we so if we go back to Mill uh, Big Bang, he's talking about Boscovich's theory. So the field sort of the field idea comes from Boscovich and Boscovich is dealing with a unified field. So pick it up again. Uh, he was uh, travelling along uh, a lot uh, because he was a representative of his country, which was a state by itself um, uh, in, uh, in that time. And uh, like Venice, 1755 it was, when he was writing his ideas about physics, and he is the founder of the field theory. Mm -hmm. So um, Faraday very often claims that he was using the ideas of Boscovich. Mm -hmm. And well, Boscovich at his time was knowing this relation um, that uh, the field is proportional to the reverse square of a distance which is absolutely important. And he applies this rule in physics to the situation of the Earth. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we apply this idea or this rule, then we see that as the Earth on the right side is moving in the fields of the Sun, here we see the electric fields which are carrying uh, the solar wind or the particles, the charged particles from the sun and we know that this solar wind is coming from the sun so that we, we are moving towards the electric field of the sun and uh, the consequence is that um, as this, uh, the earth is turning uh, around the axis uh, on daytime we have more field, a stronger field than on night time. And why exactly is it more stronger as, you, as, time as you see time? as you see here. You exactly see if you look at the field lines, these field lines, the description of field lines, this is, was an idea by Boscovich. So the distance uh, 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 to the sun is making it weaker. Yes, uh, is um, the field is stronger if if I'm nearer to the sun. Yeah. That means on daytime, uh, not only uh, the distances on Earth and the the length of maybe of my bed, my of my bed is smaller, but I'm as well smaller on daytime than at nighttime, so I don't feel it. Well, the distance, the difference is very small because the distance to the sun is is uh, huge, but uh, there is a distance uh, or a difference, mm -hmm. and this difference. Uh, has as a consequence that the movement on the side uh, of the Earth, which is next to the Sun, uh, the V is smaller than the V on night, night time, uh, on the other side. And the consequence is that the Earth is moving on a circle all around the Sun. And this is the because there is a difference. You're talking about the Earth moving in a circle around the sun. It's really, it's better to talk about it's an ellipse. Not, it's not a perfect circle. And I think this idea, what we're talking about here, is related to the idea of the expanding Earth and other maverick ideas. Okay, carry on. A circle all around the sun. And this is the explanation. Because there is a difference in the velocity. In, in the velocity, yeah. So uh, um, it's quicker on the night side than on the day. On the day side. Day side, yeah. So it is, and this makes uh, is the cause why why the movement of the Earth 
is uh, uh, running all around the sun. So gravity is 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 uh, um, misleading or or. or uh, no, it's not misleading, but it's not existing. <laughs> you see, Boscovich is 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 explaining. Uh, uh, say, saying gravity is not existing, I think that's pretty a bad thing to say, really. You're talking about uh, a force between the sun and the earth via a uh, field, which is which Boscovich is talking about. It's a unified field, and that's determining the force between the uh, earth and the sun. And the way we think of it, that that force in normal life is to think of it as gravity. Um, so it's still gravity, really, but it's sort of uh, it's the extension of what I what Newton is talking about is gravity. So it's uh, not really good to say there's no gravity. It is, uh, yeah, so it is, and this makes uh, is the cause why why the movement of the Earth is uh, uh, running all around the Sun. So gravity is 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 uh, um, misleading or or, or uh, no, it's not misleading, but it's not existing. It's bad to say that gravity is not existing. It's uh, it's uh, you've got to think about gravity in a bit different way in the context of Boscovich's theory. That's what you should really be saying. <laughs> you see, Boscovich is, is, is explaining mm. the movement without an um, uh, idea uh, that uh, there is a gravitational force uh, working in one direction and the inertial uh, force uh, working in the opposite. Direction. That means Newton's uh, apple and so on. Yeah, these uh, these discussions uh, about the inertial force um, and the uh, heavy force is uh, nonsense. Is absolutely not necessary because. You call it nonsense. It's, it's, it's not. It's problem with the wording of this. I'm finding. Um, you've got to think about uh, Boscovich's theory and to treat gravity a bit differently is really what you're talking about. Boscovich has explained in 1755 that we do not need this gravitational force. But he, he, no. he loves the idea... We do, that he's saying we do not need the gravitational force. Really you should be modifying the idea of the gravitational force. You got the idea from Newton of the universal gravitation, and uh, uh, when you're extending that idea in Boscovich's theory, you you are modifying it just a little bit. That's all. And so they had been friends, and he said Newton is perfect, and uh, he was um, telling because he was travelling a lot at the, at that time. Uh, he was telling all the scientists in in other countries that Newton has a perfect description uh, about the Newton's mechanics. But he was dead 1755. Newton. Don't know what time he was uh, living. I think it's confusion a bit there. Uh, I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I think uh, Boscovich picked up on uh, Newton's theory after Newton died. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can put up Newton. Uh, Newton, I think it's over the side here. Is it? Uh, yep. Newton. Newton died in 1727 and uh, Boscovich was picking up on Newton's theory in about 1755 so uh, Boscovich was picking up on Newton's theory after Newton died and what we've got with uh, Boscovich is he's extending the idea of Newton's theory of universal gravitation and uh, so Let's pick it up again.
in, in other countries that Newton has a perfect description uh, about the Newton's mechanics. It's but not. It's not, not, so not really good to say it's a perfect description. This is a. It's in the context of uh, Boscovich's theory, uh, Newton's theory of universal gravitation. That force is an approximation uh, for a limited range of, appli of application, uh, and so that's what it's really meant. Boscovich is a more uh, comprehensive theory than uh, Newton's. I don't know what time he was uh, living, but the, he, uh, Boscovich was carrying this this idea. So this is well known. Do we know that Newton gave a reaction on it? Is mm. uh, unknown. Newton didn't give a reaction because by that time Newton was dead. So. I only have this information, and uh, I think that um, Boscovich was ahead of Newton or gave the background and was showing that the Newton's idea is only a model. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a model which is usable. A math mathematical model that's usable has a range of applications and then it is extending to deal with the force in more detail within the context of Boscovich's theory. Okay. Uh, and which is um, complete, uh, but it is not the uh, reality in physics. And the establishment made it unpleasant for Rudolf Boscovich. He has had problems anyway. All the new ideas have problems. Yeah, Boscovich had a few problems in his time. Um, so. One of the problems was the uh, Catholic Church had put a ban on the Copernican Revolution, well, Copernican theory, after the trial of Galileo, so they had to get that lifted. But you see, uh, his book, uh, This Part You at Tempore, uh, about space and time, he has written in uh, 1755 um, and how we are observing uh, these uh, things uh, is absolutely modern. It could stem from Einstein but it is much better this book than all the books Einstein ever has. It's better than Einstein because uh, Einstein messed things up quite a bit. Right. going somewhere. Mm. Well, back to it. Hopefully the advert's not going to start up again. Is respiring. And he said uh, this effect is um, unobservable because we uh, are made from the same matter as the earth is made of. That was the idea of Boscovich, that this, he said, if we are smaller, my bed is smaller on daytime, and nighttime it is bigger, but I'm bigger as well, so that uh, I can't feel it. And if I want to measure it by a measurement device, I can't measure it. And if today we measure uh, uh, w w with a clock uh, the, the distance, you know, we, because it's more exact if we uh, measure the time a signal uh, needs for, for a special distance and this time is measured and uh, this is how they control by the speed of light they, they measure the distance you see. So this is uh, always the same, they measure only the measurement device. Mm -hmm. and, and this is what Boscovich was describing long ago, uh, just at the beginning, 
and uh, this is why I have him on on the cover of my book uh, about self-consistent electrodynamics. This is uh, uh, money from Croatia, uh, and uh, it's showing uh, Ruda Boscovic. Yeah, it's a it's a money note from Croatia or whatever. A picture of Boscovic on it. So. And this is the book by Mill, Self Consistent Electrodynamics. There we go. From, um, I think uh, that was a bit there. Oh, gone back too far. Let me try and pick it up again. Uh, I think we, we are able to learn not far away where Tesla has been born. Yeah. Not far away. Yeah. Tesla has been born a bit north. So it's unified theory is is evolving. If the discovered potential vortex replaces uh, can we that that's probably affect potential in the entire electric. So a unified theory. And this person's sort of fight was coach same sort of area where Tesla came from. From Dubrovnik? in Smyrna, in, uh, that's next, next to Gospic, where he went to school. So, um, uh, I think we, we are able to learn from these scientists and we have to apply these ideas. And I started to apply this um, because it was necessary just to calculate, for instance, the elementary particles. Uh, I couldn't do that before, nobody has done it before so exactly because um, we have not had the uh, right theory and the theory of relativity doesn't give us a chance to calculate particles. Mm -hmm. We need a theory of objectivity. Yes. So let's have a look what happens if I um, have so there you go, that's the bit on uh, Boscovich, as you can see the rest of it if you want, but the bit I'm picking up on is just the Boscovich bit. Uh, so basically, he's, he's having a few problems with uh, tidying up his English language a bit, as I've tried to explain. Basically it's correct. The speed of light is uh, variable, and Einstein has uh, sent us on a diversion a bit by uh, not realizing that, and he's also sent us on the diversion about the ether issue and loads of other issues like that. So Einstein has created confusions, and really you should be going back to Boscovich's theory to sort things out properly. So this is an example of one of these people who picked up on uh, that and is saying that Big Bang is a bluff and so unfortunately with uh, the establishment building everything upon Einstein which is on Einstein's mistakes then, uh, then a lot of mistakes have been made and um, with ideas like the Big Bang mistakes have been made with that theory so that's where it is thank you